What's up, fans? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another movie review. And if you are new, well, sit down and enjoy yourself. So today we're going to be doing a spoiler-free slash spoiler review of the final film in the DCEU slash the Snyderverse. Yeah, and I, I said it. The Snyderverse, because it is part of the Snyderverse. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Coming up right now. And hope you guys enjoy the show. All right, guys. Quiet on set. Scene one, take one. Action. Boom! Now, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends, and also hit that bell for notifications, because it actually helps the channel a lot. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Did I say Lost City? Whatever, in the Lost Kingdom. Basically, Arthur Curry is back, and he has a family. He's settling down. Well, at the same time, um, Black Manta is still plotting his revenge from the last movie after the death of his dad. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen the first Aquaman. He gets this Black Trident and gains all these supernatural powers, and he attacks Atlantis, and now... Arthur needs to get the help of his brother, King Orm, played once again by Patrick's... Almost said Patrick Stewart. <laughs> oh my god. So now Curry needs to get the... He needs to seek the help of his brother, King Orm. So he need, they need help and team up because he needs King Orm to track down where Black Manta is. Because he used to be... Black Manta was like an... Ar he was he worked, used to work with King Orm back in the day. And now well, they need to track him down. And so... Before, Black Manta uses the, the power of the Trident to resurrect an arm, to bring an army, I believe. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen the movie, actually. I've seen a movie a while ago. So that is my plot synopsis of the film. Now let's get on to the review. So all I gotta say is that, let me just get off with the negatives here. This very, this movie very, it felt very small scope compared to the first one. And I get that that's what the intent is and all that stuff, but it's very small scope. And... Oh. Oh, excuse me. And the editing is very ch choppy at some areas. It really felt like this movie has... Uh, <laughs> Sorry. It felt like this movie had had a lot of missing scenes. It had a lot of scenes left on the cutting room floor. So it was uh, it really felt choppy and all that stuff. But I mean, hey, it's a fast-paced movie. But then again, it could have needed an extra five to ten minutes to breathe breathe a bit and all that stuff. And oh yeah, that's that's basically it. Overall, I really dug this movie. The I mean, Jason Momoa, holy shit, he's still awesome. He could be a bit, a little bit more annoying in this one than the first one, but I, 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 I bear with it. I like this home, home life that he's, him and Mira have a son and all that stuff. And no, it, it's, <laughs> sorry, I'm all over the place. But then again, this movie's kind of all over the place. But then again, that's my other complaint. But then again, that's whatever, man. Uh, no, I just thought that Jason Momoa was still having fun with the characters, still having fun with the with Aquaman and all that stuff. I just liked that a lot. And him and Orm, I love the chemistry between the two brothers. I just like that the movie becomes more focused on the two brothers near the second and third act. Because it's a bit more focused. It's a bit, I think that's when the editing feels a bit less choppy and all that stuff. But I just like that they're becoming brothers. They put aside, they had to put aside the difference and they're becoming brothers and they learn to love each other and all that stuff. And... And it really is, it really, it really is the, what I, what I love about this, but it really is though, what I love about this movie is that it feels focused, even though it's choppy, it feels focused, if that makes any sense, because you have all these characters and all that stuff, but they also come and go, which is also a problem, but here's the thing that at least it, it focuses on the brothers more, and there's a story about the brothers, and this is also a story about, about Arthur being king of Atlantis, and well, I don't really like it. He doesn't really like the job, but whatever, man. He's got to... You, I feel like he's got to be king and all that stuff. And uh, Amber Heard... She's actually in it more than I think. Because <laughs> I heard that she's not in it much. No, she's in it more than you think. And if you don't want to see it because of Amber Heard, well, don't see this movie. So, this is just a quick heads up. Everybody else was just... They, they come and go. They're, they're, some, they're more like cameos. I, for, I feel... I was surprised to see Dolph Lundring in this movie. I didn't think it was going to come in. But he's he's not in the movie much. But he's in the movie. So... But yeah. Yeah, I'll do him a team the second though. As Black Manta. Man, he is so good in this movie. He is so fucking good in this movie. I really fucking love him. He Aside from Jason Momoa and, and Orm. 
fucking no Yahya Abdul Mateen the second was just amazing and I just like that yeah he's he's a one-dimensional villain but he's also focused He's focused. He already he has this. He already has his motivation. You get his motivation that he wants revenge against Aquaman. So hey, you know what? At least one dimensional, but at least he's having fun doing it. I can tell he yeah yeah was having fun doing it. The CGI is actually pretty good. The action is really good. It really is good. It's a lot of fun to watch, especially around the third act and all that stuff. I, I really like that a lot. So yeah, no, I, I just. Not much. For, also, the score by Rupert Greg Rupert uh, Gregson Williams, uh, Harry, uh, Harry, uh, Harry Gregson Williams' brother. I love it a lot. I wish that the guitar riff was there more, but <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, it's just just as, it's just as bombastic as the first score. It's also almost identical, but there's some new tunes to it, and I like that a lot. It expands on that. And yeah, as for the last film of the DCEU slash Snyderverse, it is it was fun. It was I say it's a nice little send off. Fun and humorous. And what I love about this movie is that it's so much like those Saturday morning cartoons from like those cartoons in the 30s or 40s, something like that. It was trying to, I think that James Wan was trying to harken back to those types of comic book cartoons. And that I love, man. I, I really love that a lot. It was. It was so, so good. It was it was really fun. I thought I thought it was very fun. And yeah, so I would give this film a four out of five stars. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, I'm all over the place, but you know what? Yeah, and what what more can I say about this movie? It's, it's I actually quite like it. I, I thought it was really good. And yeah, what a way to send off the DCU Zack Snyderverse. And yeah, no matter what these toxic Snyderverse fans or Zack Snyder fans or any non-toxic Snyder fan, they always got to, you know, cover their ears and shit saying that it's not part of the Snyderverse. It is. It is. Deal with it. You know, it's... I know I'm going to piss... I know they... I, if they're even watching this video... They get it. I'm already, I already ticked them off with that. And you know what? Hey, you know, whatever, man. It's fact. It's fact that this is the Snyder for same characters from your. If if you can, if you can accept these actors and characters from Zack Snyder's just League, that you that you can accept them here because it is like, it is in the same universe, same actors, same characters. It is no matter what. It's it, they are the same characters. So, I think that's a video for another time. So let's get onto the spoilers real quick. The I'm glad that there is no after credit scene. I like I, I like that there's no singer. There's a mid credit scene to like a cockroach scene from the beginning that King Orm ate. He puts it in his burger at the end. It's funny. Uh, the the villain, like the spirit villain that there that he was man, that it was manipulating Black Manta to bring this army or something like that, which is I think uh, King Trident's brother or something. He gets killed off <laughs> easily, so that's stupid. But whatever you know what this movie needed to wrap up anyways i really like the volcano scenes and all that stuff that green smoke volcano with uh with arthur and orm the, that shit is funny that shit was fun i just i like those shark scenes like those this is the most icy cantina scene that's in the middle when they're trying to like gather information on where to find black manta or where to just find black mana yeah i like that scene it was, it was really fun uh nicole kidman she's barely in the movie yeah, she's she's only in it and she just comes and goes. That's disappointing. Uh, Willem Dafoe doesn't come back. They, his character gets killed off, and that's that's a shame. And no, yeah, that's that's and also yeah, Amber Heard is in it for like what ten to fifteen minutes, I think. Well, at least ten minutes because she's in the beginning, middle, and end. It's funny because she gets blasted by a Black Manta, and she's absent throughout the whole second act. But she comes back in the third act, and I thought she was gonna come back for like a call. I thought she was going to be gone for the rest of the movie or just come back near the end of the movie. No, she's in it for more than I thought. And I got to say, she I hate her as a person. That's just my opinion. But then again, at the end, it's not really none of my business because it's, it doesn't really affect me at the end of the day. It's just between her and Johnny Depp. But then again, from we all seen from the court cases, she's a pretty shitty person and crazy. Uh, she She's fine as fuck in this movie. She looked a little thicker here than the first one, and you know what? I like that. I like thick. So, mmm. There are moments where she's on on screen, and I'm like, mmm. -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So that is just my review, spoiler free slash spoiler review of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. So that's just basically, it. and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you guys so much for watching my video, much for watching my video if you guys stuck around for this long. And so let me know down in the comment section down below. Have you guys seen Aquaman? I would like to know your thoughts on it. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. So this is Javi from Every Production signing off, and hope you guys enjoyed the show.